Hello and welcome to Sports Car ASMR. I'm the Sports Car Doctor. And why do I have foreign currency in my hands? Well, foreign to me, an American who once went abroad. We had this in a previous video, a TSA pat-down video. And uh, we're doing this today because we're doing a, one of our price guide videos. And a lot of people liked when the coins showed back up. This, by the way, is the channel that combines sports card nostalgia and ASMR relaxation. And we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. We just recently crossed a thousand subs. We've got a big celebration for that coming soon. We've been slow. growing this channel. ASMR is about different triggers, and sometimes you need new triggers, because the old ones kind of wear off. That's why ASMR videos can grow over time, and then kind of stop. Uh, you might watch a certain ASMR video over and over and over. until the trigger just stops working. So I will be looking to introduce some new triggers that fit into the sports card ASMR world, of course. I don't whisper well, and I don't personally like a lot of whisper videos. But maybe I'll do some whispering. Tapping. Or maybe do some haircuts. Maybe some of these baseball players need their haircut. Cut your sideburns mattingly. All right, let's get to it. I'm in a jovial mood. We crossed a thousand subs, and that happens only because of you. And it's a small, humble number. I'd like to also invite you to check out the playlist we have here, the 1K Club. We recently put two new videos up into the 1K Club, and we have the 2K Club, and as this channel continues to grow, I'll have a 3K Club, 5K, 10K, 1 million Club, we'll do it. Help us reach that by going back and watching some of your favorite videos. Our videos include cards that are legends, cards that we pull out of the packages and set them aside to just stare at and bask in their glory later. Cards like the recent, recently retired baseball superstar Joey Votto, one of the better players of the last 15 years. Great career, Joey. Heroes like baseball superstar Obi-Wan Kenobi. Buffalo Bills quarterback Jim Kelly in this uh, 89 score, I believe, that uh, is uh, washed out. Photography on cards was a little different in the late 80s, so. huh? We got Salvador Perez, one of the best catchers in baseball in the last few years. A bona fide slugger, if you will. He's bona fide. Topps Gold Cup rookie David Justice, outfielder first baseman for Atlanta in 1990. 86 All Star, the chicken man himself, the beer drinker himself, Wade Box. And of course, this guy. The legends of legends around here, Mark Malone. We will be inducting Mark Malone into the Sports Card ASMR Hall of Fame this Sunday. You can still register your vote. Do we cut this card up that has been in pretty much every video going back to, I do believe, video one? Or do we seal them up and preserve the greatness that is Mark Malone? Comment down below. It's still time to decide. All right. Today is one of our price guide videos, our most popular series around here for both the sports card nostalgia and the ASMR drivers. Today, we are going to be diving into uh, this baseball Beckett monthly here from 1994, February of 1994. 
still priced to go at $295, $395 in Canada. And this was probably a popular issue in Canada. Paul Molitor on the cover. On the back, we got Tim Salmon, California Angels there. Superstar, look at those early 90s Oakley glasses. That's how you know he was cool. This was part of the Beckett's sent to us by Ranger Donald. If you'd like to send us something, address listed in the description. Thank you to our friend, Ranger Donald. All right. Let's see what's inside, and then we'll price a pack of cards. February 1994. Some Mo Vaughn art there. seasons by this point. Bonafide Superstar. 1994 Flair Baseball. It's a whole new ball game. Hmm, here's our weather report. Hot in February of 1994. Frank Thomas, Mike Piazza, Ken Griffey Jr., Barry Bonds, Juan Gonzalez. The aforementioned Tim Salmon, Nolan Ryan, cover boy Paul Molitor, Aaron Seeley into the top ten, Lenny Dykstra, Fred McGriff, John Olerud, Cliff Floyd, excuse me, Cliff Floyd, the entire 1993 top's finest, David Justice, Jack McDowell, Don Mattingly, George Brett, Cal Ripken Jr., the entirety of 1992 Bowman, Joe Carter, Dave Winfield, Kirby Puckett, the entirety of 1993 Flair, Flair, Ryan Sandberg, Greg Maddox, Albert Bell, Roberto Alomar, Tom Glavin, and J.T. Snow. Cold was, well, many of the usual suspects during this era. Jose Canseco, who by this time had a ball bounce off his head and go for a home run. Daryl Strawberry, who was a few years away from his comeback with the Yankees. J.T. Snow, Bo Jackson, not his fault that he's on here, Mark McGuire, this would cause Mark McGuire to no longer be cold, Eric Davis, sadly, one of my favorites, Pete Rose, entire documentaries about this, Frank Thomas, Kevin Moss, the reality was setting in for us Yankee fans, and Ricky, Ricky Henderson, Ricky, Ricky Henderson. still hope to get some packs from the 60s and 70s to go back. Well, we'll do that one day, don't you worry. Okay. All right, we've 
breach the conventions. So as always, if you were in Kalamazoo, Michigan on January 29th, 1994 at the sports card show at the Best Western Kelly Inn up on East Cork Street, you know the one. Let us know. Comment down below. One of these days we're going to find someone. And if you say, hey, it was me, oh, we're going to want proof. Photos. Some sort of purchase from there, a receipt. Maybe a program. Parking pass. Something. Dextra in the back. Okay. Look at that. Rookies to the rescue. Talking about Mike Piazza's future, and it certainly appears bright. It would be, it would be. I like Mike Piazza. He was uh, not liked by everyone, but I liked him. Uh, oh, Manny Ramirez, up and comer there. Manny World was still a few years old. And then, speaking of up and comers, we got like 44 year old Carlton Fisk. And then Tim Salmon on the back. All right. That's the magazine we'll be using. Now we gotta pick our pack. I've picked out a few of these. We got some choices here. A 93 flare. We got, uh, this is uh, Upper Deck 93 Series 1. It's uh, bigger, it's a jumbo pack there, so more options. We got 90 flare. 92 flare, and tightly wound. 92 flare. You got 88 tops. I could bore you all by opening this one. At least we get a stick of gum. The gum would be there. Ultra Series 2. Do you like Flare? Go Ultra. We got some Donruss, 89 Donruss, I believe. Yeah. Donruss needs to do a better pack, a better job of advertising their packs. See, here we got 1988 tops. It's screaming at you. 92 Flare. Regular 92 Flare. Donruss, we're timeless. We got 1993 Tops Series 2 and Premier OPG. Could this even be an option? Let's check. Let's quickly flip back here. We got 93 Bowman, 93 Donners, Donners Diamond Kings, Donners Elite. an entire page here. Look at this. Okay, 93 OPG would be an option. Premier OPG. Okay. Alright, we don't... Uh, it's only eight cards in there, so that's an interesting... It's an interesting idea there. Okay. Got some 90 flare. We got the 1993 flare pack. I'm intrigued by this. There's only eight cards in here. Let's see. I'm gonna hold on to the upper deck. I might do 93 flare. Might do 93 tops. Hold off to the timeless donors. We recently opened some flare ultra. 88 tops again. 
We're not a basic bitch. For now. 92 flare. And the 1990 flare. Not as tightly wound. What happened between 1990 and 92 flare to make them seal this up? How many cards were stolen? Alright. So here's my choices. Since we can go to 1993, for most of my uh, existence here on this channel, my Beckett's ended at about 1992, so it's fun to go into a little bit more modern era, if you can call 1993, 31 years ago, modern. I remember it like it's yesterday. Okay. All right. I gotta tell you, I was thinking of opening this. This is a 19 card pack, dollar ninety-nine. Series one flare. Tom Glavin on the on the cover there. And you got this Topps 15 premium picture cards. Topps gold in every pack. But we recently did that. Uh, in fact, we opened up a 93 Topps, and our Topps gold was Todd Pratt. New premium quality. Look at that. But I gotta tell you, I am intrigued. We don't open and price cards like OPG much, but the fact that I can price it, the fact that it's eight cards and one insert card, we'll set the price at a dollar. We'll keep it at a dollar. And we'll just see what we can do. I like that. Hmm? I think that would be, as they say, money. And when, when I say as they say, I mean in the 1996 film, Swingers. Oh God. Even my modern references are old. them all to see if we can get that dollar back. Well, eight plus an insert. Let's see here. Okay. Here we go. Star Performers Premiere Pat Listach. Listach was a 1992 Rookie of the Year, right? Yeah, he was. Okay. American League Rookie of the Year. Future bright for this 5'9", 170 pound superstar. Okay, look at that. All right, we got, oh my gosh, look at this. This is a gem. Fernando Valenzuela with the Orioles towards the end of his run. Look at those glasses. Oh my God, he's a stud. Look at that. Uh, a Southern California kid myself. I grew up a Yankee fan. Don't worry about it. But I was around for some Fernando mania. He was spectacular. Uh, one of my favorites to watch back in the day. All right. Well, there you go. I don't know the value of that, but that has uh, got some emotional value. 
Troy Neal, DH. Ivan Calderon, oh, with the Red Sox, finishing up his career. Trevor Hoffman with the Marlins. What a get right there. Jose Guzman. Sherman Bondo. Chris Basio, by here with the Mariners. Darren Holmes. All right, well, I gotta tell you, is it the greatest pack? No. But it's an interesting pack, and I gotta tell you, we are probably gonna be putting that Trevor Hoffman right into our penny sleeves after the pricing. But let's get to it here. So, we're not picking cards this time. This is our entire pack. We'll be pricing all of them. Oh, uh, how many cards is that? Let me double check here. Sorry, Paul. I'm going to rearrange for some drama here. There we go. That's the drama we need. All right. Like a reality show producer, going to make it all exciting. All right, we are going to get back to our pricing here. And get to it. Thank you for hanging out today. Price Guide series, probably our most popular series, and I'm happy about that. It's fun to do. There we go. 93 Opeachy Premier. Oh, look at that. I forgot. Okay. I was looking at the wrong stack. It's this set. Oh, right. That's going to be interesting here. That means we're going to have uh, less of a chance to get our money back here. Okay. Uh, all righty. Oh, Peachy Premier. Good cards. Good cards. Uh, good photo quality. Look at, the, look at these mug shots on the back. Trevor Hoffman. Darren Holmes has got that mid-90 goatee kind of uh, Kiefer Sutherland, Charlie Sheen mullet going. I know it well because I had it. Okay, there we go. Well, that's interesting here. Let's write this down and let's see what these nine cards will bring us here. We are trying to get back a fictional dollar. The price of the pack that we're saying. That it might be worth more, but we're going to stick with the dollar. Just increase our chances. But what is the overall price here? Common players, six cents here. So the entire set in February of 94 is $10. So I'm going to say we're going to have a bit of a struggle. Uh, based on 1994, February of 94 prices, I'm going to say $1.05. Is our over under. So we're trying to get as close as we can to dollar five, but we're also uh, trying to get uh, over a dollar in the price guide there. You know, if you're new, I'm trying to explain it. It's been a while since I've done it. I, I feel a little out of practice. Okay. First card up. Let's do this. Let's look at it. Uh, Alf Ivan Calderon. A great run with the White Sox there. And now uh, finishing up with the Red Sox. Card 105. And he is a common player. Ivan Calderon. A dollar left. Now we got Troy Neal, number 85. Look at that. Troy Neal, prospect, 25 cents. Oh, our prospects just changed with this prospect. Look at 
that. We only need 75 more cents to reach our goal here. 104, Darren Holmes. Mm, that's a common. We come crashing back down to earth. Oh, you know what? I'm messing up. Look at that. I forgot. Commons are actually six cents. So used to the five cents. There we go. We just gained two cents, everybody. It's going to be all right. Chris Basio, card number three. Uh, I would have been surprised if he was worth much more than, you guessed it, six cents. Chris Basio sees dead people. Another timely reference. All right, there we go. Uh, 18, uh, 1838, 43 cents. All right, here we go. Sherman Abondo, up and comer with the Orioles there, number 63. I don't remember him, but oh, we have a rookie card. 20 cents. There we go. That is a big one. Two future stars, Neil and Obando. All right. So we are at 63 cents. Yes, 63 cents. Some big hitters to come. Jose Guzman, number 23. And no. But we're here, what, 69 cents? Giggity. All right. Fernando. Fernando Mania had long since passed. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be a common. Okay. 75 cents. We are at 75 cents. All right. All right, I'm double checking. Here we got, we got 45, we got 51, 57, 63, 69, <laughs> and 75. Okay, 75 cents, two cards left. We got Trevor Hoffman. This is a great card. It's a Trevor Hoffman rookie. Uh, he had pitched, uh, I don't even know if he had come up with the Marlins yet. He was still kind of a... Uh, Shortstop turned pitcher, younger brother of Glenn Hoffman. A lot of people didn't know what to expect. And, uh, yeah, that's it's a great card. But we are in February of 1994. I don't know the value. And uh, 113 is the number. 111 and 118. That's right. Trevor Hoffman at this point. Common. Eighty-one cents. But not all hope is lost. We're going to move to our premier uh, star performer series right down here. See it there? Uh, common player, ten cents in this. So we are at eighty-one cents. Can we get back to a dollar? Can we get to a dollar five? Pat Listash had just been coming off his rookie of the year season. Batted 290, 180, uh, excuse me, 168 knocks, one dinger, 47 RBIs. Card number 15 in this subset, one per pack. All right, number 11. And he was squished between Barry Bonds and Mark McGuire. Pat Lestash, a common. Cent common there. Well, that is uh, 81, 91 cents. What's the total? 91 cents. We are looking for at least a dollar. Getting close to dollar five. It wasn't too off there. 91 cents for this 1993 Opeachy premiere set. But what a great pull on this Trevor Hoffman. 
who knows what it is worth now. You know, we could be sitting on a fortune here. This could be a $12 card, and I could sell it and get lunch today. Um, thank you for subscribing and hitting the notification bell if you want to give me a super thanks for lunch. That's great, too. I'm going to seal this one up as best we can. Don't. Come on. Get it in there. Get it in there. Definitely not the only time I've said that. Okay, uh, let's set this one aside. That's a great pull. I'm excited about that, actually. Uh, disappointed we didn't make our money back today. But, hey, you win some, you lose some, and sometimes it's a push. And today was kind of a push. Thanks again for hanging out with the Sports Card Doctor. This is what we do. Weird little videos about sports cards and some ASMR all mixed through it. We're an ASMR channel first, but on days like today, I think we're a sports card fan first. Great, interesting pack. A lot of fun. We'll see you next time here on Sports Card ASMR.